Hi, um, I'm Nadia. This is um, my wonderful gallery. And we have a very exciting show planned over two weeks. It's five artists, five painters, and one sculptor. As you can see, the work is colorful, contemporary, very affordable. Um, one or two of the artists I've shown in previous shows, and uh, it's wonderful to see them come together as a group of artists. This video is a good opportunity for you to meet the artists and see their work individually. I'm Jenny Hill Norton, and I'm one of the artists exhibiting in this show. Four of us have exhibited together for about 10 years, starting off in Cork Street. That was such an outrageous success that we thought we'd like to do more, so we have. There's a cohesion because we all work together and we have the same teacher, so there's an underlying hand, but we're all terribly different. We share the same view that the pictures should speak, and so we go for very plain frames, which allows the paintings and drawings to speak from themselves. We've become enormously good friends, and it's really one of the most valuable things that's come out of it, this love of painting. We just have the best time together, and putting on shows and inviting people and showing what we do. Hi, I'm Jane Martin. Um, I've been with um, the group for about 10 years. I had the most amazing time producing work over the years that's based on always drawing. This drawing is an example of a group uh, workshop we did, taking Old Master. I produced it in black and white as many, many times in different media as I could, so collage, felt tip, ink, gouache. Then I started painting from drawings, producing mainly oils. So drawing is always my starting point, whatever I do. This is an example of a group workshop we spent a day um, at East Head. I just love making marks, whether it's drawing marks, paint marks. So the big brushes and the bold lines and the bold marks are shown in this top one. This was done from a series of individual line drawings and then I translated those line drawings into paint. So I had to use my imagination with where the colors were going, but I had the basic shapes in which to work through. These two dogs, again, worked up from a very small scale line drawing. I just love drawing animals. Again, no stills, they're all from life, moving. So you just have to capture the essence. This cat, again, is an example of something that was worked from a small scale up to a large scale in mainly charcoal. And the wonderful thing about charcoal is you can smudge out lines you don't like, but then there's a reminder of what was there before. I'm John McKinney. I, t I paint mainly in acrylics. I would say I probably was not formally trained as a painter, but I have been painting actually for most of my life. Most of the pictures in this show were painted in the spring of last year and obviously that was during lockdown when the countryside was enormously peaceful and there was a huge amount of natural colour lying on the land. I was really sent, if you like, by the wow factor of the landscape by taking bits and pieces and putting them together in a composition. It is not a, a precise replica of the area, it's rather how I feel about this area, okay? This is called Pidham Hill. Pidham Hill doesn't look like this, but that's how I felt about it on that day, when you had this wonderfully clear colour, and it was a zinging landscape. And what I'm trying to do is to capture that zing in what I'm painting here. This is Greece. What we're looking at here is the idea of heat coming off the ground, off the olive trees. The zing factor for me was to try and push that all together into a composition. This is Shillingsworth Wood. On that day, Shillingsworth was absolutely zinging. You had this carpet of bluebells underneath. That patch of land behind was terribly important and it was just a spring crop about to emerge and this fabulous green colour just worked and, it, and sort of transmits that wow factor that the landscape has for me and that's what 
really generically I'm trying to do in my pictures. Hello, I'm Anthea Stilwell. I'm an artist and I'm going to show you my work. Here is a book of life drawings and my life drawings are very much about immediacy. I like to try and create energy and I never spend much longer than five minutes on my drawings because they just become dead and I feel when I draw quickly they're full of life. A quick colour life drawing I did probably took five minutes which is over here on the wall. did a series of drawings of the reclining lady with stripy stockings. The drawing I did from those is on the wall here. And that's pastel and charcoal. I'm very interested in colour. It's um, what I look for mostly when I'm painting. I got some acrylic paint and poured it onto the canvas and tipped it around, watched the colours mix. Then I thought I'd frame it because I really loved it. And it's, it's just a celebration of colour. And here are two colour studies of reflections of the River Wye, where I sat and drew during lockdown. And from the drawings, I made these abstract paintings. Colour again. This is a portrait of a study of a head where I painted a lot of abstract around underneath the um, found image of a face. I think it gives much more energy to the picture. It doesn't close down anywhere, it's always open and there are options for the person looking to perhaps finish it off for themselves. I'm Jenny Hill Norton. I come from a background of glass engraving where a portrait that big would take 30 hours of stibble engraving to do. So when I met up with our teacher I was ready to burst into colour and energy and form. I adore plants and that led on to oh, enjoying painting flowers. I've got quite a lot of flower paintings here. It's lovely starting with charcoal. I so often would start with a charcoal sketch. Poppies is one of my passion. These all from the garden, June in the garden, just immersion in oil paint. I, I love the smell of it, uh, the texture of it, how, how the brushes, the different sorts of brushes respond. It just makes me really happy to do that. The other thing that I love painting is fish. And I think in a previous life, I'm, I was a dolphin or something like that. I love being in the water, I love watching fish, and I really adore painting fish and the water. One of the things that is the underlying strong feeling that I have is the love of energy and the human figure and that shows in my circus paintings but also in life drawing and here I've got very quick sketches that show the energy of life. So I went back to uh, 1500 BC and looked through art history and found a whole lot of circus acrobatic pictures did drawings of them all and then tried to make a whole picture out of a whole a wholly disparate lot of activities except they're all based on human acrobatics. <laughs> I love colour, I love luxuriating colour and so here I've got really beautiful iridescent oil paints coming in the blue and the silver and it adds another energy to the whole thing. My name is Jo Ellis I joined Just For Art Group 10 years ago and I have found it a wonderful way to move on from my previous career as a graphic designer into fine art. At the moment I'm working mainly in acrylics and oils and I'm working on landscapes. These two paintings are based on my garden. I did a lot of gardening last year with lockdown and these two paintings are based on my long border, herbaceous border. This painting here is more atmospheric, again of my garden. This one is of the water meadows by the River Meehan, which is very close to my house. I do a lot of walking and I walk with a friend and we're walking the South Downs Way at the moment. And I do a lot of uh, sort of mental note taking and I just love the cut of the sky and the hills and the trees and the intersection of the fields and I try and bring some of that sort of life into my work. 
This is another one based on the South Downs, more abstracted again, not very representational. But a lot of my work is based on the experience of being somewhere. It's not necessarily about representing a particular place, but it's about what it feels like and what it, what it does for me as a, as a subject. Seascapes are an absolute passion of mine. I spend a lot of time in Cornwall and I'll often be out with a sketchbook and I work from the sketches so therefore I really enjoy the black and white quality and the light. That amazing interaction of sky and sea and sand is just completely endlessly fascinating. Hello there, my name is Craig Narramore and I'm one of the artists exhibiting here and I'm bringing a three-dimensional element today. So my background is predominantly film industry work, prop making, but I'm bringing them techniques to my furniture, um, which has always been a passion of mine. Uh, and I try to enhance ancient timbers um, and bringing them back to life and making them into beautiful pieces. So over here we have some ancient bog oaks. So these are 5,000 year old bog oaks which have been in the uh, peat bogs and we bring them out and we've infused them together using bronze from the foundry and enhancing them. So when we come across these pieces of wood, they're not very practical for many items, but it's the live edge that we absolutely love on these. And this is what we're trying to keep and enhance and make these into a more practical piece for us to use. So it's not only a sculptural piece, but it can be used as well. If you just look at the patination on this piece, what we've done in the areas that would normally be eaten away and make it unpractical, we've tried to fill up just to make a flat surface, but it enhances the colours and ties in with the darkness in the timber itself. So these pieces are very old timbers which have been um, underwater for, for a very long time and what it is it's all the mussels and the, and the insects in the ground that's eaten away the timber that's created this texture. This is all a natural texture, we haven't touched this at all and we're just trying to enhance that and, and, and show, you know, put it in a different light by coating it in these beautiful colours just to bring out the, the texture that's been created by nature for hundreds of years to give us this. Really hope that you have enjoyed meeting these wonderful artists. Uh, this show is certainly full of colour and vibrancy and we just encourage you to come along and have a look. We're tucked away in the countryside but once you get here it's like a little hidden gem. Um, the show runs from the 12th to the 26th of June and if you can't make those dates please telephone because we are happy to open the gallery outside those times. Look forward to seeing you.